Hi, I'm Jane Johnston. Julian Schutze from Blood and Iron Martial Arts. And my car didn't break down today, so, or I guess it didn't break down, I was just bad. I was just bad last time. But Julian's here with me, and today we're reviewing the blast caps from End Him Rightly, mm -hmm. which are uh, an item that we were given specifically to review. So we've been testing them for a couple months now, and initial impressions. My initial impressions is that they look extremely durable. The material itself is actually quite thick. It looks pretty beefy, especially yep. uh, put it as a side-by-side -side comparison to the original thin little thumb piece of the Spes yes. gloves. Uh, the thumb was always a little bit of the sore spot of the Spes gauntlet, so it was pretty cool to see that someone wanted to address that in terms of an actual product. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, they are 30 USD. Initially, that seemed a little expensive to me. However, it does come with a full kit. Yeah, it's not just this, you're getting a bunch of other stuff yeah, with it. Yeah, you're getting so. a specialized drill bit. Uh, you need to do a little bit of work. You have to drill out some rivets, and they have a drill bit specifically for that, which is actually quite nice. It comes with a bunch of the elastic ropes to be able to tie it back on, unlike the, the duct tape in this very... <laughs> this is our loner glove. Yeah. It is very abused, but it's all been held up quite good, especially with this blast cap because it's all kind of falling apart. It's like the-, the Your holy, thumb is still safe. It's the holy grail <laughs> within this one glove. Yep. But yeah, so the actual kit as well as an Allen key. So it comes with everything you need within the actual kit as well as the blast cap. So I don't think that was so much of an issue. How are you so good at these? I'm good at high fives, man. <laughs> Okay, so for the break-in, there really isn't one because it's just a piece that you stick on top. It is a little bit dependent on how broken in your glove is. However... Yeah, exactly. I'll talk a little bit about the actual construction of these. It took me a total of 9 minutes and 20 seconds total from very start to very finish. Basically, you just have to take the drill. You need an electric drill. It comes with the drill bit. You basically just need to get behind these little tabs, drill out the rivets for the plastic piece put the cap back on, it comes with an Allen key and screws, and you just screw that guy on and you're done. Yeah, so for a 10 minute mod, it's pretty easy and nice and quick, so. Mm -hmm. It does get, I mean, a little finicky. I'd say my nine minutes was probably spent, a good chunk of it was spent on trying to fiddle the Allen key, so that's probably me just not being stellar at the <laughs> job. You could get it done in five, I'm more than sure. So yeah, it's super easy to put together. This is just about it, really. In terms of breaking, in terms of using it, I got used to it immediately. So yeah, so did no... I. I didn't really find a big issue in terms of longsword and putting on the glove and then trying to do grip switches and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So so for things we like, relatively easy to put together, as I just mentioned. If you have a newer Spes glove, I'll get back to that in a little bit. If you've got an older version, you might be in a little bit of trouble, though it's still manageable. Again, we'll get into that. Uh, it does actually protect your thumb way better. I took a monster hit on my thumb not that long ago, and it was so hard that it actually flipped on top of the other plate. It was pretty nasty, and my thumb is fine, and I'm pretty sure with the original that would have actually led to a broken thumb. Yeah, that would have been a real problem. It was, it was, it was, an, it was a rough one. <laughs> uh, in terms of mobility, which I'm sure is a huge question, uh, it didn't take any adjustment period for me. For longsword, this feels just fine. It really doesn't feel very different from just wearing a normal Spes glove without any mods on it. Mm -hmm. So, in for, terms of that, it was good. For longsword. For longsword, and we're going to specify that because yeah. when we get into the next section, eh. It gets a little dicey once yeah. again. One thing, though, is that the guy who makes these, the creator, he is very invested in customer service. He's very good about getting feedback and kind of finding out what he can do to make these better. So he's been very engaged in the process so far, which is something that we really like to see in people that are making the product, because obviously we all want good stuff. And if he's willing to help us make it better, that would be fantastic. He's already taken a lot of what we said under yep. consideration for next versions. So Yeah, so we're looking forward to seeing what he comes out with next. Um, another good thing is that all of the caps are crash tested before they ship. So they all take a little bit of a beating before they go out to you, and the warranty is lifetime warranty. So as long as this company lasts, you will have warranty on your blast cap. So there you go. That's kind of a nice thing too. Also with the multiple colors, different things, you can get the full kit, which has everything that Julian mentioned before. You can also just get the, the actual and the thumb is for yeah. 25 specifically without the kit. He's got a whole pricing chart for that, and then mm -hmm. I'll put the link of that down in the description below. Yeah, so in terms of customer service and stuff, he is very, very good so far. We're enjoying working with him. Mm -hmm. So in terms of things we'd like to see change, just really nitpicky, we both think that this color is kind of gross. We like that it comes in a lot of colors, but... 
It's like this gross yellow thing. Yeah, this is the official color for white, and it seems more like clear yellow. To be fair, there's not much you can do with clear plastic that's not... No, that exactly. Again, it's pretty nitpicky, <laughs> but if you're on the website, you're looking for the option that says white, this is not what I would expect, so... So just something to be aware of. And mm -hmm. then we're going to get a little bit more into the mobility thing and also the single hand sword situation. Yeah. So. so when doing some grip switches with long sword, predominantly the false edge with the crossed hands, just because of the way the thumb grip, the thumb pushes one of these back plates up, it can get stuck once in a while. I've had this happen once. And you've been using it for a good few I, months I've been now. I've been using it several times a week for a few months and it's only happened to me once. So that is just something to keep in mind that it can happen once in a while, but it's really not that big of a big deal at that point. So the big mobility issue for me is with one-handed swords. I know most people are not too much into using one-handed swords with the Spes gloves. With the previous thumbs, I didn't have an issue, but with some of these, definitely there can be. Because of the way the thumb itself wraps around the thumb, what ends up happening is that I cannot use the side of my thumb to push forward on the blade that I normally could use because it's got this extra tab on the side of it which means in order to get my thumb grip on a single-handed sword, I have to kind of let go and then re-grip it, which is definitely not ideal for yeah. <laughs> counter cuts or for anything of that sort. So for one-handed, uh, it's just not ideal for that. Although, to be fair, again, Spes gloves and one-handed do not exactly mix all that well together in the first place. So. So it is what it is there. I mean, you could try shaving it if you wanted to, but then you're risking mm -hmm. a little bit of safety in terms of longsword and other weapons. So. Mm -hmm. so I mentioned earlier it was pretty easy to put together if you've got a newer SPES model. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, the, the test that we did was originally with our old learners, which are the first generation of SPES gloves, and this was a little bit of a nightmare. Basically what happens is the actual holes to screw it in are way too far down, which means this back plate here gets pushed up so far, it ended up looking absolutely ridiculous and it just, it was not good. It was not useful at all. Well, and with that much of a gap in between, a sword could catch that and it could be a bigger issue. It was not so, usable. Yeah. It was not usable. So if you've got an older version, I did have to trim the back down significantly. However, I did not necessarily have to do that if you have, if with this modern version, which uh, the reason it's got the little mitt style on it is because this is a prototype. I'm not exactly allowed to show you the clamshell portion of it. However, you'll notice that it does fit on here just fine without too much modification. Although I may still choose to trim out a little bit of the sides just so it f fits a little bit more flush, but it's not really necessary in order to make it work. So for our final impressions of this, what do you think? What do I think? Yeah, I think what do you think? I've been talking um, a lot. Yeah, like, well, what are you, uh... you did all the work for it, so that's a little bit of why that's happening. But I really enjoyed it so far. The thumb on the Spes Heavies is a bit of a liability. Anybody who's used them can tell you that. So having a really easy and quick mod that you can put on has been really important for us. And I think that it's something that we're going to start using a little bit more often here after, obviously, our test ones, and we're going to see what they come out with in later versions. So Definitely. I can highly recommend these. Uh, so in terms of our actual rating, I would say... We're going to grade our ratings a little bit here. This is a so. little bit of a mixed bag. If you have newer Spes ha Heavies... Heavies. 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 <laughs> hey, you, got, you, you have them? Heck if yeah. you got some of the newer Spes Heavies, then these are straight two thumbs up. I think they're fantastic. They're relatively easy to put together. If you've ever operated a power tool before, like an electric drill, then it's, you're fine. Yeah, you're it's fine. so easy. <laughs> uh, and then I don't really have any complaints about that. I would say if you have an older version of the Spes model, then it will work. However, then I would give it one thumb up because... Because you're going to put an extra effort for it, yeah. Modification is required. And that's just how it is. It's not yeah. a perfect... This is revered, right? Yes, this is like the best you can ever get. Exactly. This so, is like you don't have to put any effort into making this yeah. happen. But if you're willing to make the modifications, then it works just fine. Yeah. And I would, again, highly recommend it. Yep. Mm. So if you're, however, wanting to do single-handed with this, it, do it. no, it's just yeah. it's not usable. It's not usable in that context. You're not going to get the dexterity that you want 
Especially, and you're not going to be able to grip switch. Yeah, especially in Messer, where how important it is to be able to alternate between that thumb grip to a long edge cut is just it's too too hindering. Yeah. A really important thing for us again though was the fact that he's really willing to work on this stuff. He wants feedback, he wants to know how to make it better and the customer service was really, really good. So for us that makes a big difference and that's a big contributor as to why it's two thumbs up as well. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. So yeah, that makes a big difference and that has been our review on the blast caps for the Spets Heavy Gauntlets and that's by End Him Rightly. Yes. So we're going to throw a link down in the description but if you have any other things that you want us to review, any comments, let us know down below and bye bye now. Also, your bye-bye now was scary last time. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like it.